Welcome to the recognition of Black Business Month at the city we call Greater. Today, we have campus pastor, Reverend Rod Barnes, who is not only a shepherd, but a security company owner. We welcome him. So, Pastor Rod, please tell us a little bit about your business and your attraction to the service you provide. Well, I'll tell you a little bit about my business. Uh, the name of my company is Barnes Absolute Protection Solutions, where we offer security for retail businesses, parties, uh, funerals. That's right, I've done a few funerals, weddings, <laughs> done a couple of weddings. Um, um, living facilities, um, homes, just whatever. We offer that armed and unarmed security. i tell you what got me attracted to this. Um, I've been doing security probably now, oh, 15 plus years. Um, my very first real job, I did loss prevention, which is security for Sears in North Little Rock. Man, I'll never forget it. I left there, went to Burlington's and Best Buy and did security for the school district, uh, just everything, working at the hospitals, doing security. And so when COVID hit, um, right at, when COVID hit right at the end of that, I said, man, you know, I need to start a business. What can I do? I don't want to keep working for the man for eight hours, you know. I want to be my own boss. And I said, you know what? Let me do security. Um, and that that is what it's been, man. And ever since I... Did not hesitate, I went, applied, got my LLC, got my tax ID number, did all of that within a matter of two days. And started business, started advertising, starting to tell people, hey, I offer this, I offer that. And um, it's been going. How is the business doing now? Well, business right now, I'll tell you, it is slow, uh, stagnant. We don't have a contract right now uh, with any particular company. Um, it is my prayer that God will open doors and God will bless the company. But that way we'll be able to have a contract and to be able to serve people. Um, I thank God for Bishop Kenneth Robinson who actually gave me my first opportunity to do security for his BKLR and he has called every since every year when they have it. And so it's stagnant, but God's gonna make a way. What would you say are the struggles your business is dealing with? Man, I say the struggles of being a business owner that I've learned in trying to get the business uh, off the ground is number one, finance. I think you gotta, you gotta have the right finances to invest in yourself, right? You gotta have the right material. You gotta buy the right material. You gotta take the right classes, do the right research. You gotta do all of these things, and that takes money. I think finance is one. Then secondly, I think is the struggle for me is just finding people that want to do, that uh, want to work. I'll tell you a quick story. When I was, I had a contract on the table and it was a good contract, man. I, I, and I, I'm not ashamed to tell you, it was a hundred, a hundred thousand dollar contract, your contract. And um, man, I'm trying to get people. I'm doing interviews on Indeed and all of this. And do you know, I had over 20 people apply, but only conducted five interviews. I set up interview times, nobody showed to the call. I mean, it's a struggle, man, just trying to find good, decent help, right? And we know that to be true, whether it's in ministry, whether it's at, at the job, whether it's you being an entrepreneur, it's hard finding good help. And so I think that's my struggle um, right now, is finding good help, who's available, uh, 
who has time to go get credentials, who have time to actually get what is required to be a security Arkansas here in the state. When you hear the word partnership, do you resist it or see the need for it? And if yes, in what way could the help advance your company? Okay. Um, partnership, you know, I'm not resistant to it. I think if it's the right partnership with the right person who has good intent, who is not trying to uh, throw you under the bus, who's not trying to stab you in the back. I think partnership is great. I think when you hook up with the right people who have connects with people that you don't, I think it, it makes all businesses work well. Um, what would help me if I had a partner, man, I, I could definitely use a partner. I think I could use a partner. Let's just be honest. A partnership, somebody who has means of resources financially at their hands or even those who can reach out to insurance companies who can say, hey, take this business. Hey, let the, insure them, you know, um, because if we be honest, there are a lot of people who know people that know people that you don't know that know people. Right. And so if you just connect with the right person and partner with the right person who has good intent, who has a sincere heart, who wants to help, who's not jealous, right? Who's not trying to just become a bit, not, who's not trying to just undermine you. Um, I think partnership is all well and good. Um, and so, hey, I love to partner with somebody who can, who have resources, who knows somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody, right? Um, and I think, I think we, we can be successful in that. What would you say to the community on the importance of your services in the 21st century society? Why my business is important in this 21st century? Man, must I call the roll? I mean, you've seen it, you've seen it. You've seen church shootings. You've seen school shootings. You've seen um, hospital shootings. And not just that nationally, but even if you just look locally, you can't go to the movie theaters without the possibility of somebody being a threat. You can't go to Walmart. You can't, like you can't do life like we used to back in the day. Back in the day, nobody had a care in the world when they went to the movies, when they went to church. Nobody cared. But life started happening. Seasons started changing. Generations started changing. People's minds started changing. And now look at us, where we never know the intent of the next person. And I would say to you that my business is important because um, in, in what I do, we are to be a deterrence. We are the first line to where somebody sees security. It may change the thought of, let me not do it. But if it does not change that thought, you have somebody there who is trained, who is skilled, who can talk people down, who can uh, detain, who can uh, restrain, who can do all of these things. If you gotta shoot those who can shoot, right? Just to be a protector. We live in a day, we live in a world, we live in a time where we don't know what the next person has going on. And it's scary. And I would say to you community, that you need it. If I were to use Greater Works as a great example, great example, we live where our church is, we are in the middle of Asher. We're surrounded by homeless. We're surrounded by those who are walking the street every day. We are right across the street, if you will, from the jail, from the Pulaski County Jail. Like we, we are surrounded by so many things, right? Greater Works would, would be the place I would say would need security on Sunday mornings, whenever they have openings. Why? Because you need somebody there that can be a deterrent, 
that can let the next person who, who knows, who's walking, who got ill intent, this ain't the place to be. They got security. Oh no, you don't want to go there. And I think it's very vital. And I would tell you, man, everybody, keep your head on a swivel. Watch your back. Um, when you get in your car, lock the door. Don't, because what we do, and I like to do it, we get in the car and we sit there, chill, be on our phone, forget to lock the door, then somebody snatching the door open, lock the door. Watch your surroundings. Do all those things. Um, and, I, and again, I think, I think security is great in our community and is well needed in this 21st century. Can you tell the people how to contact your business for the services you provide? Well, if you want to get in contact with me, if um, you need security for your next event, for a funeral, uh, baby shower, wedding, whatever it is, uh, you can reach me by my cell, 501-563-8291, or you can email barnesabsoluteprotection at gmail.com. And um, you send your email and, or text or call and I would definitely reach back out and uh, see what you got going on, what you're looking for and go from there.